All right, guys, Red Alert 2 World Series action coming at you. And today I have possibly the wildest, wackiest game of professional Red Alert 2 that I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, we got a couple of the best players in the world in here, Marco the Goat, Legend the God of Thunder. And today they're gonna be playing Yuri's Revenge, which is very different than regular Red Alert 2. Now, both these game modes are played competitively at the top level, but regular Red Alert 2 is a lot of those like grizzly rhino, intense tank battles. Yuri's Revenge for the allied faction, all sorts of wacky shit can happen. You got Navy SEALs, Tanya's better, the pair drops better, spies are better, you got players engineering each other, and all sorts of wildly entertaining stuff can come from that, as you guys are about to see. Legend's, Legend's a strong Yuri's Revenge player. Legend actually has the crown right now. This is, you know, he's this is the title fight. Legend currently the crown holder. He won last month versus Marco. Um, and I think Legend, you know, the first couple games going Soviet and then uh, and then deciding like, hey, I'm not going to go Rhino for Rhino against the GOAT. Uh, let's go allied here and try to get weird. And Marco now, <laughs> Marco repaying the favor as he loads up his own flak track. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this should get uh, this should get nice, and this is this should devolve into uh, into pure chaos here. All right, here we go. Uh, the clown, <laughs> the cl yeah, calling Yuri's Revenge clown games. Honestly, I like the mix. I used to think like, oh, which one's better? I want to do this. I want to do that. I like the mix, man. I like Blitz. I like Red Alert too. I like Yuri's Revenge. This is hilarious to me. Marco stealing his power plant and selling it, I, it cracks me up. It cracks me up. It does. I, I really, I really do enjoy it. This is actually kind of funny. So in the last two points, we've seen the Soviet player clowning the allied player, which is usually the opposite. Normally you see the allied player um, using engineers and stuff more. In this case, in both times, though, it's the Soviet player. And you see this bunker here. This is the pro move. One bunker, three conscripts, and one bunker. Um, great way to counter a Navy SEAL or an engineer. We do have a Navy SEAL out. This is a Navy SEAL IFV now. Uh, yeah, should be. Yeah, I'm surprised. I path. That kind of surprises me. I'm surprised he didn't bring a didn't put a didn't put a, a sentry gun down there. Marco's not like. I feel like Marco. Marco's not like. Marco only has his like bachelor's degree in clown warfare. He doesn't have like a PhD like legend. Like he takes the power plant, he sells it. He doesn't go too crazy. Um, he's happy with just getting it. You only need three conscripts. It's just an eco thing. Three conscripts um, should be able to counter. Oh, oh, he gets it. He gets it. Oh, the double legend, get the para drop, the one, two punch. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. All right, guys, I got to hop in here and break this one down really quick because I missed it live and this was an absolute work of art. So first, Legend goes down the middle, uses the Navy SEAL IFE to get that War Factory. Then his para drop of GIs on the top side get the top War Factory. Now on the back side, Marco has a bunker next to his War Factory and that's meant to defend against a Navy SEAL. But what it allows Legend to do is alt the War Factory. Basically, if you park your tank right on the ramp while they shoot your tank, they're going to do damage to their own building. And in this case, they actually destroy it. Legend gets the three pack. Oh my god. I love that and the Navy seal timed with the pair drop That's what's all about the top level, you know, not just doing the like the things right But timing them the pair drop the Navy seal the Grizzlies love that Mirage is now to defend rhinos Marco looking for some offensive value here uh, Legend gotta be very very comfortable in this position Marco now downfield pa I think engineer in that flat track dodges the Harrier nice micro but now a Mirage uh, Mirage tracking it and another Navy seal dude legend is like full on oh that's a spy he gets the spy in no <laughs> that was a spy wait what he just got a spy in oh my gosh that is amazing. Yeah, that is. Uh, hey, that's why you call him the God of Thunder. He needs a new nickname. This isn't what you wait. Yeah, they, now look, vet mirages are coming out. And that's that's the beginning of the end for the Soviet player. The three pack war factories and early in the game takes out three and spies the, the war factory. If Marco wins this game, legend has to retire, right? Yeah, God of Mischief. We're giving him a new name. God of Mischief. Loki. We're gonna start calling him Loki. He's not Thor anymore. He's Loki now. Uh, if Marco wins this game, does uh, does Legend have to retire? What do you guys think? I, I think I think that's fair. If Marco wins this game, Legend has to retire. I think that's fair. Uh, yeah, you set the waypoints. Yeah, the, to get units in buildings, like to really Navy SEAL and spy at a top level, you set the waypoints before you put them in, and then right when you deploy, they go in. Um, it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's it, you know that's one of those things too. I think when you watch some of the stuff, the the, the engineers and stuff, you're kind of like, oh, this is clowny or whatever, and like it, it's clowny in a way, but um, it also it's not like easy. 
it's not easy, especially the top level players are pretty good at countering them. You, if you watch the point of view of some of the top level players, you can find the links to Legend, Marco, uh, a few of those guys. Oh my gosh, another spy. He just went in his radar. He just put Marco, he just put Marco dark. He what he spied the radar. Marco on the backside, four shields. He four shields. Oh, and then the Deso bomb on the backside. Oh, nice Deso bomb on the backside. Oh my gosh, I gotta get, I gotta get my head on a swivel, man. These guys are doing some next level stuff right now. Oh my gosh, the Rhino's taking on the Grizzlies and the Desolators on the backside. He's gonna zone out the Grizzlies. He's gonna zone out the Grizzlies. He zones out the Grizzlies, now goes at him. Oh my gosh, Marco on a level right now. Marco on a level right now. Nothing on the backside. Now he already used his get out of jail free card. The MCV goes down. Marco says, what for shield? He says, what for shield? AFC goes down, Rhino's still hunting. Now these, these, these vet Grizzlies, remember, the spy those vet grizzlies are going elite quick and legend does stop the bleeding rhino uh, rhino's waypointed into uh into legend's base now but marco is gonna have to pull out uh nice value there got the mcd but uh the afc as well battle lab still out battle lab three war factories and a huge economy legend on 25k marco going for the mcv move now marco up in mcv this is yuri's revenge right at long game late game that's what marco's going to try to play here but he does need to try to slow things down and get a defensive effort together because we got a group of grizzlies going hunting one elite in the group and four vets vet grizzlies are scary man because they go elite very very fast um that attack from marco with those backside desos uh, was was just absolutely Picasso level. Oh my gosh! The tiny against the MCV! Are you fucking with me right now? Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> I couldn't have staged this. I couldn't have staged this. If me and Marco and Legend were in the room, the writing room, putting together a script to fake this game, we, we couldn't have done this. I'd be like, this is too ridiculous. You can't do this. No one will ever believe this actually happened. The Tanya IFE takes the MCV. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, this is why I don't like. Dude, honestly, normally this stuff bothers me. Like normally I get a little bit annoyed with these kind of shenanigans. At this moment, I, I'm adoring it. I am, I am, I am elated with these shenanigans, to be perfectly honest. Desolator's now zoning out the retreat. Marco pushing these grizzlies around. Now Legend could be going mirages here. Once you're once you get a spy in. The choice to go Grizzlies or Mirages is a little bit interesting. And Mar Marco wins the game. Oh, Marco still wins. I, that, I mean, I mean, I, I, I. Are you not entertained? Oh, my God.